I'll show you how to use this controller with your MacBook and your iPad, study smart and study hard. For me personally, it makes it like a game and I like to play games when I study because it makes it more fun and more enjoyable and more likely I would actually do the studying. <laughs> so let's get into the video. So for the MacBook, go into Bluetooth settings, press start and the right button and it will come up looking like a keyboard connector. Then download off internet Carbonite Elements. Once you've done that, open it. Press this button, copy these um, map things. It'll look something like this. Like Then download this customized short keyboard shortcuts. This allows you to use an undo button on the controller. Okay, so that really helps be more efficient to undo and then when you've reviewed it wrong, for example. Then my settings, this is what it looks like. So let's get on to how to do it on your iPad. It's so much more simpler. Press start and A, and then you press 000 pin for some reason. You connect it, and then you go on to the gamepad settings within the iOS app, and you can just map these keys onto Anki however you want. The main thing with Anki is just keep it fun, keep it very simple. You don't need a controller to review it. You can just use your keyboard that I used for like the first three years of doing Anki. You don't need it, it's not essential, but it makes it fun, it makes it like a game. And with anything that's hard in my life, if I can make it a little bit tiny, a little bit more fun, I'm more likely to do it. And for me personally, using Anki every day helps me get the best grades in my school, and one of the best grades in the country for A-levels. I hope this helps you do the best you can in your grades at university, wherever you're doing it. Hope you have a beautiful rest of your week, and thank you very much for watching. <laughs>